Hey everyone, this is Tamping Songbird. Today I'm going to do a two page layout of 12 by 12 pages, and it's a Christmas layout. This Merry Christmas title I got off of Cricut Design Space, and my images will be nutcrackers that I got off of Kadoodle Bug Design. They are super, super detailed, lots and lots of little bits and pieces. Um, it comes with four different nutcrackers and I'm just using two. I actually modified that one with the green hat. That blue piece was supposed to be his white beard, but I used it as decoration for um, his hat. So I have some strips to anchor the bottom and I have my photo mats as well. I'm gonna use a barely art glue to adhere the anchor pieces at the bottom and this is just a green cardstock that measures 11 and a half by two with the pattern paper of the lighter green that measures at one and three quarter by 11 and a half. So I also have these um, gift box uh, dies or cutouts that I also got from Cricut Design Space. And you can't really see the detail here, but um, it's just the shape of the bow. So I had to go in with a Copic marker and add a couple of details onto the actual bow. And then that first piece is going behind the anchor piece at the bottom, which is why I did that in that order. So here are my two photo mats. I have one that you can fit a four by four photo in and one that you can fit a four and a quarter, I'm sorry, four by six photo. So I was just moving things around to see where I would place them. And I'm going to adhere my title first. And I failed to mention the, the paper that I'm using. The pattern paper, the white pattern paper has confetti on it and the green paper has uh, dots. The yellow gift box has uh, sort of zigzags and they all come from the same pack called the basic pack from Park Lane that you can find at Joann's. So I'm just going to adhere two more gift boxes at the bottom and when I first started, this file does not come with a title. It just comes with the nutcrackers, but it does come with a gift box, but it was really small and lots and lots of pieces. So I, I looked for an alternative, which is why I ended up with these. It made them nice and big because nutcrackers are doll size. So I figured the gift boxes should be big. So here I'm just bending top of the bow to make sure that I have space for my photo to be tucked in. I'm going to add here the first nutcracker and I mean there were tons and tons of pieces on this but I did enjoy making it. It just was a lot of work. So he's going to go on the left side. He looks more like the traditional nutcracker you find in the, the play the nutcracker. I don't know if you, if you remember that as a kid but I remember it in that nutcracker on the left reminds me of that. Sorry if you hear some bells, that's my kitten. Okay, I'm going to stack these um, gift boxes on one on top of the other, but I realized that um, they wouldn't reach the top without overlapping. So I decided to cut the red one and try to tuck it in here, but I could only lean it to the left and I didn't want it to lean to the left so solution put the green one first then the red one on top and it fits perfectly so I'll just adhere those starting with the red one at the very top so I know uh, where I can move my green one making sure I don't overlap the edge of the um, 12 by 12 paper I think this looks really really cute I like the idea of the stacked gifts and I apologize for the shadow I turned my table around before it was facing my door and now I turned it so that I'm facing the wall which is not really ideal but it allows me to have more things on my desk because before they would fall off um, and because of that change then I ended up with the shadow, so I have to figure out how to get rid of the shadow for filming. If anybody has any ideas, please let me know in the comments below. So here I'm adhering 
my second photo mat, which is four and a quarter by six and a quarter. Um, and the green paper and then the red is four and a half by six and a half. I'm adding glue to the second um, nutcracker, putting him on the right side. Trying to make sure that it doesn't overlap the photo mat, but it does a little bit. Just gotta make sure I don't press down on the hair so that I can tuck my photo in and the arm. Okay, so that's it. This is my two page layout using a pattern paper from Park Lane in green, in white with confetti, and the red and yellow. They come from the basic pack, Park Lane, from Joann's. And I have two photo mats, one for a four by four, one for a four by six photo, two nutcrackers that are very, very detailed. I mean, tons of details. Um, it took a while to put them together, but it was fun. And my title, Merry Christmas, that I got off of Cricut Design Space. And the bows, uh, sorry, the boxes with the bows, I also got off Cricut Design Space. So that's my two-page layout for Christmas. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Tell your friends. Leave a comment below. Until next time, happy crafting. Bye-bye.